In the midst of the deadly and devastating wildfires, residents are starting to come to terms with the destruction. News Channel 10 Sydney Batsloff was in Hutchinson County and met with a volunteer firefighter who lost his home while helping a neighbor save hers. This is the harsh reality for many in Scott's Acres. Their homes now turn to ash. But for one homeowner, he had to watch it all burn while saving others. Charles is a hero. Charles Clark is a volunteer firefighter and responded to the largest wildfire in state history. His home was in the path of the flames. We did not have the resources here to save my house or any of the ones that we lost. We were able to save some houses. Um, my neighbor's house included. That neighbor is Chanel Young. Although her home is standing, she did lose some items like her shed. And this thing was full of every, like so much stuff, my kids stuff, my wedding stuff. But she says it's nothing compared to Charles losing his home. It's like heartbreaking because like we really, we really, really love, we love Charles and we have since the day that he moved in. And so to see him lose, everything is like really hard. As the smoke clears, Charles finds himself engulfed in heartbreak, despair, and frustration. And being helpless as to not being able to do more, to not be able to have saved every house. It sucks, the whole, the whole thing. Um, Wishing that I could have gotten here faster. Um, all the second guessing that I've done in the last week. Um, what could I have done different? What could we as a department have done different? Us as a community have done different. There's not really any good answers to any of it. Um, we, we did what we could do. This fire was a beast. There's dozens of homes in this neighborhood burn like this one. That's including the home of Joyce Blankenship, who died in the fire. In Hutchinson County, Sydney Batsloff, News Channel 10.